before we move on it seems like we got more stuff to oh did they learn new arts oh they did ricky learned how to do a tantrum i'm so proud of him oh my boy ricky's got a tantrum he can inflict break on him with a tantrum oh but what should i switch out to, for him to, to do a tantrum i mean come on if my boy can do a tantrum we gotta have it i want to see ricky throw a tantrum that'd be amazing let's see maybe i'll take away no i like sneaky what's going on firebrand how you doing let's see roly pole app eh, i'll switch i'll switch tantrum roly poly why not i gotta upgrade that tantrum my boy is gonna be crying and screaming i love that he has a tantrum let's see my boy dunban learn dunder if used with an ore it forces days hmm let's see do i oh yeah if i use spirit breath and then dunder it forces days onto the enemy which is pretty good oh wait, he has a lot of ore attacks you know what how about hmm, do we need blinding blossom and yeah, not really so we'll just upgrade all of that right there tempest kick electric gut buster after gale slash let's see gale slash i need to find another book for gale slash though but yeah how's everybody's weekend so far everybody having good all good shadow eye yeah i'll put more shadow eye there i go all right fantastic so the emperor is now waiting for us is what happened last time that was our prison with no beds as usual i mean imagine being in prison but no bed though no bed at all like is that that just sounds like a worse prison right there if you have no bed who the heck would be in a place with no bed like that that's like basically sleeping outside because there's no bed but the ground is your bed i don't know we just got a giant table and we're expected to sleep there basically but let's move on the emperor is waiting for us hopefully the audio is loud enough so everybody can hear everybody's lovely voices there we go oh hello please forgive me for keeping you only shulk may proceed beyond this point only the shulk okay Shulk, forgive us for detaining you earlier. You and I are not of the same people. But this I must say. Thank you for helping Melia Antiqua, my daughter. It was no small feat. Not at all. I'm By the way, is the audio a okay for everybody? No issues at all. We not have interfered. She is a lucky girl to have met such unselfish people. In the times to come. A ruler will need support from individuals like you. I hear you seek the Mechon. Yes. The Mechon devastated our We got a little guy back there. And we lost many loved ones. Revenge is your goal? It is. <laughs> you are honest. Look, they're just looking at Ricky is great. I want to find our true intentions. Our very existence is at stake. Unwavering, too. How sure. is Danganronpa 2, though? Is it better than the, the first Nardo. one? But there is something that must be said. I mean, I'm one what stream away from finishing the first one, Long so we're getting really our close. Our fathers built this empire. Two titans, the Bionis and the Maconis, fought a vicious battle. We get some is this water. known among harms? Yes. It is told to us as children. The two fought and died, killing many creatures in the process. <sighs> Their remains became our worlds bringing forth new life on Bionis. That's how we were made. The Bionis shall awaken once again. Alvis told me the same thing. This is not just the vision of a seer. All of Machna knows. The Telethia are as old as the Bionis itself. I'm in for a freaking now, treat. Quote unquote freaking treat. Okay. That disturbance <laughs> can only lead to one thing. I look forward to when I get to it. Like I said, after I finish the first now? one, I'll take a break before playing the second this one. Is an inscription left by our forefathers. It is written, Descendants of Antiqua, 
When the ether cries, the Bionis awakes. Mistake not the signs, and heed the sword's return. Trap its power, and assure eternal prosperity. All life born on Bionis affects the ether. The Mechon's assault is just the beginning. And these events were set in motion when you used the sword against them. We used it because we... Because you needed to. Without it, you could not survive. I cannot dispute the this. The Monado is everything. I believe the inscription speaks of these very events with the Mechon. But if their assault continues, if more lives are lost, soon the Bionis will awake. And not only the High Entia, but all life will perish. Do you see, Shulk? You're talking about total extinction. Correct. Which is why the Mechon's invasion must be stopped. Then you'll help us. Your Majesty, we need Imperial sanction to enter Prison Island. Will you permit us entry? What will you do there? I saw it in a vision. We will fight a faced Mechon. They must pay for what they did. Then you will have seen him too. <sighs> On Prison Island, our forefathers sealed something away, just as they did to the Monado. All records have been lost, and there is now no way to know what it was. Is it connected to the awakening of the Bionis? I do not know, but our forefathers must have had good reason. I keep hearing we things about Ultra Despair Girls. I keep hearing things about Shoot. that game. Don't think I'll play it Allow either. Some time to deliberate. Above all else, I will consider the safety of Bionis. You are our Bionis brethren. We will not ignore your plight. I... understand. This is not our homeland. If you decide not to let us go, I will accept your decision. I am sorry. It's... okay. One more thing. Yes? I ask this not as Emperor Saurian Antiqua, but as a father. Do not date my daughter. I do not demand that you act as Melia's protector. But I would be honored if you would be her friend. Aww. This is my humble request. It would be my honor. Aww. Oh. The Telethia are on the move. Yes. That fleshy fool will go for the Monado. What of the faces? Repairs to metal are complete. And Nemesis? Nemesis is... The Homs with the Monado. He has reached Vibrant LEC. Junior games. Yes. Every week is always a new game, and which there is isn't one it? place for them to go. But Yet nice, not but dare nice. Unleash such power. <laughs> no matter. Bugs must still be exterminated. It is time to test our new toy. Commence the assault on Bionis. Oh, things are about to get crazy, but did they really have to call us bugs? Are we really just bugs on a big old world? I mean, yeah, I think we are. It's Elvis. Wait, is the premium tier on PS5 the biggest one? Is that like the highest tier right there? Yeah, because I think they think there's the regular one extra than premium. Is premium the highest? Even I don't have that tier. Can this be true? It will happen soon. I saw Melia. She was fighting a battle against a Mechon with a strange group of arms. Yes. That sword, could it be the... Could it possibly? And that location, was it... 
The vision is a sign. By your will, it can be changed. Hmm. For now, we must consider all things. Everything. The capital. And the lives of our people depend on it. Hmm. Wow! What? Take a look at that! What's up, Ryan? Bird people fly higher than nubbin birds! What was that sound? <laughs> Shook, I think that's Melia up there. Ricky, what was that sound? There's our girl Melia. What beautiful lips you have. By the authority of our divine ancestors, I, Melia Antiqua, I'm honored to accept the responsibility of becoming your next benevolent ruler. Should I mean, I know Fall Guys is going to be free in a couple of days, which is kind of crazy. The ancestors, all the I might, I might I stream it again. Here. Some, I might and stream it again next week. Who knows? On the mercy of you. Who knows? The people. I miss the little dudes hopping around and jumping. Maybe I should win some crowns. Most majestic. That fragile girl in the forest is a distant memory. But which one is the real Melia? I ask this not as Emperor Sorian Antiqua, but as a father. I do not demand that you act as Melia's protector, but I would be honored if you would be her friend. I want to be Melia's no, bestie. Like I want to be her bestie, Westy. <laughs> I think. I want to be Melia's bestie, bestie. I want to be her bestie. That's for sure. But that is a touching scene where it seems like Melia doesn't have many friends. But here's plot. And what did you see, Alvis? Oh, it's you. Don't play games. No need to be angry. I only wanted to analyze the boy. Which was the point, no? Hmm. I did not interfere with your ministerial affairs. In fact, you should be thanking me. I wonder if he feels the same. We have all the information we need. We know that such a telethia cannot hurt them. You see? Nothing can befall him before he sees his dream fulfilled. There is a lot going on right now. What is it? What is this leading all? Oh, I'm Rash just wondering. Oh boy. Nothing like an ether change and a new paint job. Not the face. <laughs> We don't need her. Look at me. Look Ooh. at me, goody two-shoes. Let's just see if you hold back the screams when his blade gets a taste of you. <laughs> I love a warm welcome. Let's settle this machine to machine. Hold on, what was that one with the new paint job? That one looks amazing. Was that the new toy? So they've got a new crown princess. Three cheers for Melia. Oh, right. new job, Iron. Nice, congrats. What are you gonna do? Once we reach Prison Island, we'll get our chance. Look at you working a job. It must oh. be true. Someone's Shut about to get paid. Maybe we can still persuade Big Wings. Melia's crown princess now. I reckon the Emperor might change his mind. Maybe. Rhein, the Emperor's request was clear. Give him time. There's more to this island than we know. Things are at play here that reach beyond our understanding. Dundon right. Ricky and friends visit Melly now. I love that hat he has. Hey, Ricky's hat is cute. That was a talking pops. Ricky want to see Melly. Ricky think Melly's sad too. 
She might like the distraction. All those stiff ceremonial duties. You decide, Shulk. Ricky say yes! I mean, it's adorable the way Ricky talks and all that. It's freaking adorable, but it's even weirder that he's 40. He's 40 and he says things like these. I know it's I know it's just a custom to how they talk and whatnot, but why does he have to be 40 though? With a wife and kids, and then he says, Ricky want to see Melly. Like, it's kinda odd though. But of course, I'm pretty sure we'll go to Prison Island once, you know. All those metal faces come attack us and then we gotta save the day and then we can go and Melly becomes our bestie and we get to go shopping together. I don't know. It just seems like all of this is just waiting for one big attack to happen then everything will go our well, Then everything will go our way is what I'm trying to say. Just gotta go for that big attack and just gotta wait for that big attack, save the day, go to Prison Island, we all go shopping, become best friends, go for lunch and all that stuff. Whoa. Holy flip, I know it's just the sky, but that, <laughs> that is impressive. The floating Monado. Yeah, forget Shulk. Shulk is no longer the main character. Is the Monado. The Monado's the main character now. <laughs> That's amazing. You forgot prison island was a thing, so you thought I was gonna stop at prison? We're going off to prison! Ah, gotcha, Firebrand. Congrats on the new job. Hopefully, you can help people who can't afford the phones. I think I know what you're talking about. But what's going on, Shebe? Ricky's friend, Melly! Ricky! I love you, Melly! Oh, Melly look amazing before. Oh, Ricky's so proud. Really? It all happened so fast. What a stunning garden. The arrangements, the fountain. Sacred night, thanks for the follow. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Ideas. My late mother adored this place. Late mother? But I thought your mum was... Her Highness, the first consort, is not my birth mother. Members of the Imperial family must take two wives. One Homs, one How you doing, Entia. though? My I'm just focusing on the cut on the cutscenes right half now. Homs, half high end here. Melia. I'm just saying, ever Melia. since I now know that Ricky is 40. Yes, Ricky. Since I was young. Should I talk I like him when I turn 40? Now, so this garden gives me much relief. What's wrong with how you look? Who cares if you're half Homs? You'll always be you. Their way of thinking differs from ours. Are you different here for some ways, Xenoblade sacred? Morals. So that's why you wear a mask in public? Yes. Shulk, in less than an hour there will be a banquet in the palace. I would like you all to come. Oh, Ricky's so hungry, he could even eat Smelly or Luca. <laughs> There'll be plenty to eat. Finally, some decent grub. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. What's on the menu? Any high end <laughs> specials? Do not oh, nice, you beat it. Nice. I'm going yeah, through the series for my first time, so. We are talking about I'm blind. enjoying this one so far. What? That's the last time I sit next to you, then. <laughs> I have much to prepare. I will have someone call for you later. We can't wait. <sighs> Is there something wrong? No. You are a funny one. Oh. Ah! Emperor! Oh. Dang. It can't be. Shulk. It's the Emperor. Father. Another vision. Shulk, what did you see? On that tower. On Prison Island. <gasps> oh, speak of the devil. What does the siren mean? Mekon, they're coming. <gasps> <gasps> 
Wow, just on time. That whole cutscene happened and here they are. Time for us to save the day, I guess. I gotta say, even though this was on the Wii, they made the action scenes look good. On the Wii, though. It's so impressive. I love it. Report! Yes, sir. We received a report from our south station. Macon are approaching. Impossible! Kellyan, your sister's time has come. Your Majesty. There is only one course of action left. Which is? We will not waver from our destinies. Father! Kallion, take charge of the capital's defenses. I will go to Prison Island. Tell me, what happens to my father? He... It follows my last vision. We're on Prison Island. Metal Face and your father are... Prison Island? Why would father go there? No! I must go to the palace. I must stop him. I will go to the audience chamber. Wait, Melia. We're coming too. I mean, I know it's serious and all, but that line read wasn't that good. He just said, wait, Melia, we're coming too as she's running away. But things are about to get crazy. We got to make sure that it doesn't end up with the emperor dying. But man, I gotta say that it's impressive that on the Wii they make the action shot they make the action shots look so good. Seeing all the explosions and everything flying around was amazing. And they're not afraid to show blood even in the even in the visions. Like the bloody claws, just to help you remember what happened to someone else who got pierced by those claws. Oh man. All I gotta say is that every time I play this, there's always something to look forward to. The music, the characters, everything about this. It's great to know that Xenoblade is back. And it's still continuing with 3 next month. I can't believe 3 is coming out next month, which is insane. I mean, I mean, I gotta get through this. I gotta play the future connected part. Then 2... And then there's Torna, and then there's three, and whatever DLC is gonna come out for that. I'm pretty sure three is gonna come out with its own DLC. But it makes me wonder how long these other games are gonna be. They're gonna be so friggin' long. But here we go. We gotta find out that her father is gone, isn't he? But what can he do on his own? Is he even that powerful to protect himself? Who knows? Let's see what's up. Brother! Where is father? Melia. The Imperial Staff, it's... So father has gone. I... By himself? Kallion! The Emperor has proceeded to the island alone. For the sake of the Empire. Why did you let him go alone? Father! His Majesty is fully aware. Alvis. Of what will happen to him, and what he must do before then. You saw something. I did, during our ancient divination ritual. If he knows, then why? Because he is the ruler of the Imperial family and all the High Entia. We must respect his decision above all else. But that doesn't mean... Trust him, Shulk. 
His fate was decided long ago. No! Silk, we're going. But Dunban... Respect? Destiny? We don't need rules to tell us when to save the people we kill. Dunban for. literally saying screw million. the rules. Don't give up on him. The Emperor, your father, is going to die. Dunban! There's only one thing to do. Are you with me? Of course. But you can't. We are Homs. Do what you must. But your laws don't concern us. My apologies, Dunban. No apologies needed. So, Melia, what's it to be? We go to Prison Island. Friggin' Dunban just comes in out of nowhere, say, screw the rules, your father's going to die. And now here we go. Like, we all need a Dunban in our lives. That man is the voice of reason. Freaking love Dunban. Oh wait, not to go into teleporter, but the line continues out here. Ah, new location, fantastic. Oh, whoa. Now that's impressive right there. Oh, sorry, they're not lovey-dovey heart yet, so they can't meet with each other. Not yet though, but man, what an Im what an impressive view. Dang, imagine I just walk off. Like, just a little bit, a little bit. There you go. What if I just fall off right now? <laughs> now this is impressive. Whoop! <laughs> oh. He <laughs> disappeared. He just disappeared. That's hilarious. He just disappeared and now we just... Oh my goodness, that's great. To prison lane? Wrong game? Wait, which game are you referencing, Shabria? Ah, great, the water saved me. By the way, I hope the audio has been okay so far. Especially during the cutscenes, I hope the audio's been a-okay. But yeah, let's see, we just got side quests to, to accept. Just to make sure we end up with some extra stuff, let me just get those out the way. War to Sacro Mars? Any more? Yes. Yeah, every time it's a monster fighting one, there's always so many to fight. All right, there we go. Now we can move on to Prison Island. But yeah, I wonder how far I am, I am right now. I'm level 40 in this game right now. My team is level 40. Like, I wonder... I always wonder in RPGs what level will I be when I finish the game, which is always crazy to think about. You start from level 1, and then by the end, you're at level 50, 60, 80, 90. I wonder what level I'll be when I get to the end of the game, and then realize, wow, this is how far I've come. There's a reason I love RPGs so much. One of my top favorite genres to play. I enjoy the experience, growing, all that kind of stuff. Must be a good reason why I love Xenoblade so much. Oh, wait. She doesn't talk to other races, so I need Melia up in front. There we go. I'm a different race right now. Happy? Beautiful. You can find marine marble at RFC. Okay. So now you just need stuff like that. All right. So we got that out the way. Let me go back to Shulky Walky. And I'll put Melia in the party. There we go. Melia, Ricky, and Shulk. There we go. We're going to work things out together. I don't know. I want to keep Ricky in the party. He's a good healer. Plus, he's 40. And I'll never forget that he's always 40. He's a 40-year-old little beastie who talks in... Is it third person? They always talk... Yeah, they always talk about themselves in the third person. What if I just talk about myself in the third person? Pixel loves to play games. Pixel loves Xenoblade Chronicles. Pixel loves everything. I mean, if I talk about myself in a third person, then Pixel loves everything, of course. But yeah, the more I learn about Riki, the more I like him, but the more I'm like, huh. He's an interesting character. 
more than just a comic relief, I guess. All right, come on to Prison Island. This fly infestation is beginning to bug me. <laughs> I get it. Unmanned craft built by ancient High Entia. Is it too much to hope this is the last of them? that were sealed within Prison Island. They have us in their sights. They must be our target's pets. Perhaps. Let's see how they like this. A woman's voice, huh? Interesting. Prison Island is just ahead. Do we need to use the transporter? We do. But first, we must unlock the seals. Seals? We need to unlock two seals to reach Prison Island. Then, a door will appear before us, showing the way. Got it. Move, everyone. I have to say, it's kind of crazy hearing Metal Face going... Rah, 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 and then the other ones just has a very gentle voice. It's kind of crazy. One has a gentle voice and the other one's all gruff and crazy. Are there only two voice settings? Like, oh yeah, here is a woman's voice and here's a, man a man's voice. Two different settings and they sound insanely different. But it seems like we'll be fighting those two soon. It's gonna be crazy. I'm sure of it. But in the meantime, we got a lot to check out. Oh, they're not even happy face yet. Ah, oh, they need to be happy face. It's gonna be tough trying to figure out the relationships with everybody here. Like, there's so many to focus on. Nobody on my team is, like, perfect yet. Hey, come on, you Chloro, get down here. Can this Chloro get down, please? Oh, wait, I can lure, right? Alright, fine. I guess gotta lure the monster then. There we go. Let me lure the monster. Throw the rock. I missed. Oh. Oh, wait, we had a chance to attack. Come on, get down here, you silly bird. Thank you. Thank goodness if I attack, it just hits anyway. But man, it's just crazy that if I don't have a gun character, it's not gonna reach. But if I swing my sword the right way, it'll work perfectly. Nice. Yeah, Ricky, I agree. I do love fighting easy monsters. Easy monsters are the best way to fight. Did I fight more than Nebulas? I'm not sure, but... Ooh, cool. Two free items right there. That I like. Man, look how impressive this is. I love how this all looks. It's so... Nice to look at, so chill. And then we get into battle, I start dying, and then I start freaking out, but before and after that, it's all gorgeous, which I just enjoy immensely. Oh, we gotta destroy this flabel. Alright, come on, buddy. Don't focus on me, focus on Dom. I said don't focus on me. Oh, there you are, Melia. I was wondering where you were. Am I still being focused? Come on. Turn around, buddy. I guess I need different party members. So we can do like break and days and all that stuff, but. Alright, that wasn't so hard. 
Is it because of my level or... Maybe when we go to a new location, enemies will be difficult once again. But let's move on, though. I don't want to stray too far from the story mission. If I find enemies I gotta fight for a side mission, I'll focus on those another time. Right now, I want to know more story. But of course, I'm just having a chill time with this. Hey, come over here. I really love how you can throw a rock and it does like one damage. I find that really hilarious. One bird freaking like one rock does one damage. It makes a lot of sense, though, but I must be good at tossing rocks to do that much damage. Well, not strong, but I'm really good at throwing. If I can toss it at a bird that high up, it's pretty impressive. Like, I know for sure I can't do that. Like, I can't imagine myself with that kind of accuracy. Like, imagine a bird about 100 feet away, and somehow you hit it with a, with a freaking rock that you pick it off, off the ground. It's kind of crazy. Ooh, nice. Quest complete. Ooh, nice. I gotta say, my weekend so far has been pretty uneventful, except for, you know, playing Danganronpa last night, which was pretty crazy. I think I'll finish it either tomorrow or Monday, still trying to figure out what to play next week, so we'll find out then. But it's crazy how... It's crazy how close I am to finishing a game. It's always great that... It's always great when you're close to finishing certain games in a row. Because I know after Danganronpa, I want to focus on Great Ace, Ace Attorney 2. I want to finish this. Being a variety streamer is tough, but when you finish all these games, it's just worth it. I'm just glad that, you know, I got people watching me for a variety of games and not just for one game, because I can't imagine myself playing one game all the time. That I cannot imagine. Hey, focus on somebody else, you freaking Stella. You elk. You flipping elk. You're right, elk. Let's see. Let's give it that shadow stitch right there. Ooh, you're from behind. All right, buddy, buddy. Well, we couldn't do a good chain, but okay. I'm fine with that, though. Oh, nice. I can attack from the back. Sounds to do massive damage. If you attack its weak spot for massive damage, you'll do massive damage. Oh, flip. Nelly's... Friggin' Melee just died. Wait, from... Wait, did the Nebula just join in? God. Why is the Bob flip? I didn't want to fight the Nebula. The Nebula is killing us. I am not losing to a friggin' ball of gas, thank you very much. Holy flip. Why is it so difficult? Oh, no wonder. It was a level 85 nebula. Who the heck was attacking the level 85 nebula? No wonder we were about to die. That thing is double our freak. Wow. That could have been the end of our lives right there. Okay, cool. The skill trees are okay, but... Like, come on. They can't see levels like I do. I can see all the levels, but apparently these guys can't. Oh, flip. Come on, let's do it, buddy. I want to fight that bird. Oh. Are we fighting the bird? Oh, nice. I could have been a Shulk sandwich. I mean, if I were a type of sandwich, I don't want to be a Shulk sandwich, even though that could be kind of tasty. But how you doing, Sundown? Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing A-OK. -okay. What's Which room surprised me the most in Danganronpa? In the fifth floor, you say. Oh, Gore? I don't like that attack. Gore. I don't like that room at all. I don't like that. I don't like that attack at all. That's the, that's the worst attack. Gore. 
Why do we have the why does that attack why does that attack is it exist? It's horrible. Uh yes, yeah, so let me use my most ruthless attack. Gore. Oh dang, I'm dying. But oh, we got that enemy down. Come on, let me heal myself. A shulk sandwich doesn't sound very tasty, though. That's the thing. It's like, it's a sandwich. It could be tasty, but at the same time, does anybody want to eat a sandwich made of shulk, though? I don't think anybody wants to eat a shulky sandwich. Let's do a heal. Oh, we can continue the chain. Beautiful. It's a blue chain. All right, I'll do shadow eye. Get that chain up. Ooh, nice. Elemental Discharge! Chain is maxed! Ooh, nice! 41,000! Beautiful! Wait, that just blew up. That was explosive right there. I think I'm getting better with the chains. I'm getting better with the chain attacks. But, okay, so let me answer that question, though. So, the room that surprised me the most, I, I don't know. Last night's stream with Danganronpa was crazy. There was so many things, so much lore dropping in. I, I, I could, I, it, there was just so much. I, I don't really know what to say. It's just that there was so much. Like, it can't just be me. I, I understand that a lot of people who were, oh my goodness, I'm dying. Holy flip, that enemy attacks a lot though. You could say it's off the chain. Wow, thank you so much, Sundown. What what could I do without you and your puns, though? Oh, wait, that's the chain. Oh, flip, that's not good. But I gotta say, it's great going through this whole Danganronpa trip, though. It's great. I really do enjoy it. It's insane. And I'm pretty sure, you know, I got one more stream to do and I'm done with that. But then I heard that, you know, two and three are crazy as well. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what the rest has in store for me, though. The rest of the game is going to be crazy when I get there. Okay, stop focusing on me. I got to get that chain up on you. Oh, flip. Ricky's about to die. Come on, Ricky, do some heals, my boy. That last part was just an absolute trip. I understand. I understand completely. Ah, oh, flip. Oh, my friends are dying. That is not good. I gotta make sure they don't die. I'm surprised we're doing so well so far. Usually we'd be dead up at this point. Wait, we're all sleeping. Wake up! Wake up! Don't die in your sleep, guys! Don't die in your sleep! Ghibli did about to die in your sleep. Nice. I know I spoke a little too soon, but we won, though. We won. The thing. Ooh, Queen Frog. So, that's the thing. It's just that. I never thought that Xenoblade would be my type of RPG because, you know, RPGs like this are crazy big. They involve a lot of stuff, and I thought the story would be hard to get into. But the more I play, the less, the, the more that I realized that that was just me. That I had the wrong idea about this game. I'm glad that I'm playing this game. It's just great to play. There was so much, there's so much to learn, so much to do. But at the same time, it's not overwhelming. You get what I mean? At no point at all did I feel overwhelmed. I mean, I know there are times where this game gets crazy, but not in a bad way. You know what I mean? I always thought that Xenoblade wouldn't be my kind of series, but here I am. I've gotten this far, and I'm enjoying myself. I'm having a good time with this game, and I'm glad that I got into this. It's great. It's so great, and I can't wait to play more from the series. It's going to be great when I get there. There's so much to do. 
Like, no matter what I do, I can just travel anywhere and I'm fine. I don't feel like I'm blocked off by anything, though. Uh, wait. Is that a frog? That's a frog on a throne. I get to smack people with a frog on a throne? That is amazing. I love how it goes from, like, a head to a little old frog. Wait, it's a frog caught by Riki, waiting for a handsome prince. That's amazing. <laughs> what the heck are these weapons? This looks like a joke weapon, but I love it. Let's see. We did get something new, the Horizon. Ooh. Wow, that's one good looking sword. But it's not strong enough to keep it, so never mind on that. He's got the general cap, so we can change it. Wait, hold on. Something's in my eye. General's attire. Wait, you can, you can still see the damage in his arm. You see, now that's the continuity I like. You can, you can still see the damage in his arm. That's freaking awesome. General's Gauntlet. Could always make his sword look like that, though. Oh, you're right, I could. But the thing is, I like the sickle, though. I do like his sickle. I mean, I can always change... I know I can always... Oh, my goodness. That's a... That's a pizza cutter right there. That's a freaking pizza cutter. But, you know, I'll change it to that. That does look cool, by the way. But you're right, I could just change up their stuff. I could. But I love this. I freaking love the frog one. The frog one is funny, though. You're happy with the PlayStation Plus Premium? Man, if I ever get enough money to get to do that, I would because, you know, there'd be so many games I could download, but... Aha! <laughs> money go... Brrr, money go down the drain. Money do be going down the drain. It's all a thing. It's all called Bills. Thank you, Bills. I haven't used Charlotte in a long while, though. I need to find better equipment, that's for sure. Hell top. There has to be something that raises her stuff up. Well, I need more equipment. I need to fight more enemies that can give me better equipment, that's for sure. Alright, I think we're good to continue on. Let's do it. I love that Ricky has a flipping frog for a weapon. Even though he is 40. And it's kind of strange. But, eh, we just gotta deal with it. But I'm pretty sure when I get to Xenoblade 2, it's gonna be great. Like, I'm sure the music gets better as well, right? Oh, no. Oh, that's a, okay. That's level 35. I thought that was the level 85 one right there. I was kind of scared. If that was a level 85, I'd, I'd probably scream. Because we almost died by one before. That's the funny thing. <laughs> well, that's the chain. We did a good job. There we go. I just wonder how different the battle system is going to be in 3. I keep hearing it's going to be different, but at the same time, I'm like, is it really going to be that different? Like, is it not going to be the same battle style that I'm used to now? Like, how different, how different it's going to be. I'm kind of worried about that. That everything I learned here is just going to be not useful anymore if we're going to be switching to a new battle style, I guess. I don't know if that, I don't know if that makes any sense. If any of what I just said makes any sense at all. But either way, I'm looking forward to it. It means I get to finally meet Pyra and Mifra from Xenoblade 2. From Smash Bros, I mean. I finally get to see those characters from Smash Bros. Alright, I think I'm getting better with the chaining, though. Xenoblade makes you play Tetris. Xenoblade 3 makes you play Tetris to fight. For some reason, I kind of don't like that, CV. I kind of don't like that. I mean, even though I consider myself okay at Tetris, I'm not a master at Tetris. But imagine the battle style was literally <laughs> Do 
Xenoblade 2 is system is similar, but it's had more complex. I like complexity. Yeah, because I remember I remember when I was reading up on, you know, the Xenoblade series a bit, you know, no spoilers. I just wanted to know like I just wanted to know like, you know, the game a bit, the series, but you know, I'm not it doesn't matter spoil myself, but I've heard that the battle styles are different that that there's a tutorial there's a tutorial for xenoblade 2 because the game doesn't really tell you well enough like i've heard that the game doesn't really tell you how to play well enough so people made their own tutorials on youtube on how to play it and i'm thinking how much more complex can it be though has there ever been a story-based tetris game like a purely tetris game I don't think there's been a Tetris game with story, unless you mean Puyo Puyo Tetris, but you did say purely Tetris, so I don't think so. I don't think at all. I think it's completely different, though. For example, instead of every character having one weapon, you can use all the weapons depending on what persona. I mean, Stan, I mean, Blade. You. <laughs> That's what I've heard. I've heard that in two you have these blades who are basically your stands your persona and i find that pretty crazy so did nintendo make their own persona though oh yeah speaking about persona there's a rumor about persona 5 royal maybe coming out for switch i don't know but that's that's a big that's a big rumor though but at the same time would anybody actually play i mean I'm sure people are waiting for 5 on the Switch, though. But it's a big rumor because there are store pages online putting 5 Royal for a Switch. And I'm like, huh, that's kind of crazy. 5 on Switch wouldn't be impossible, though, because literally we have 5 Strikers on Switch. Oh, yeah. Tokyo Mirage Sessions is literally their own persona, though. I was gonna say, did Xenoblade 2 come out first? But no, it didn't, because Tokyo Mirage Sessions for Switch is a port of the Wii U version, which came out first. So, yeah. I know what I'm talking about. Let's see. You want a Persona 6 to be your first mainline persona? <laughs> I mean, I just find it crazy how I went backwards with the series. How I started with I, I started with five, then I went to four, and then to three, and then three gets announced for freaking Xbox and PC. How how is it? How is it that after I finish three, it's finally coming out though? They saw my playthrough on Twitch and they're like, "Wow, Pixel suffered." Let's make everybody else suffer. And I'm like, heck yes. But the thing is, everybody else will get to suffer in three. Now I got to play two and one. No, I got to get through Strikers. I got to get back to Strikers and actually finish that game. But whenever, when I get, well, when will I get back to that game? Who knows? The thing is, I want to, I want to focus. I want to focus on that series like I want to focus on that but it's been a long time because I got burned out from P5 Strikers so I got to find the right time to get back in that game which won't be anytime soon because there's a lot of games I want to play though there's so many oh no Sundown I, I know what you mean I know I know that the one coming to PC and Xbox is the PlayStation, the PSP, the place PSP version? PSP, yeah. Portable. Yeah, I saw the difference. I know the difference between the two, and I'm glad I played Fuzz. Oh, flip, that's a level 40. And to unlock that seal, I need to fight these. Oh boy, I guess I gotta try my best. Here we go. Time to die. 
But the thing is, when they first announced it, I really thought they were gonna put all, you know, they were they were gonna do like a best of or something, like somehow fit all three into one. But nope, they they did the they did the freaking tough one. They they freaking just said, "Oh, we'll give you the portable version." That's it. But after reading into it a bit, I've heard the reasons why. I heard the reasons why we're getting portable instead of Fez, and I've heard that the code for Fez is really messy. I've heard the code for Fez is crazy messy. Like, there's no way they could put they can port Fez over even if they tried. And I've read about it more, and I'm like, that actually makes a lot of sense because Fez is crazy. So while I'm here, yeah. So I've heard that Fez is crazy messy that that version is really really messy and i'm not surprised though because you know it's the playstation 2 game and that that was the first time with playstation 2 right i didn't realize how messy it was until i actually read about it and then i'm like oh wait yeah that's what i've heard how nix has each of Nyx's phases has the, has its own model. I'm like, why does Nyx have so many freaking models? It's because they can just emulate the game. I mean, true, but I think that might cause more problems than you think. I think I think emulating it might cause way more problems than you think. Like, I'm not like I'm pretty sure they can do just that but I think it's just tough to port it that's why I think it just might be tough to port it like I'm not defending Atlas and their decision to only bring portable over but portable seems to be easier to bring over I guess but I've heard many things like each like every time there's a new cutscene or a new model a new phase or anything is not it's not the same model they they just put another model on top of the, the thing so basically the way i'm explaining it all is very messy but it's very messy from what i've heard it's just messy i know they can do other things to fix it and i'm not defending them in any way they can easily just try to fix it they can just try to fix it but i guess they just want easy money that way it just thinks that the pe it just thinks that you know for Persona 3, for people who are actually going to play Persona 3 for the first time ever, are going to experience... They're going to experience the, well, inferior version, but you do get female MC. I've heard female MC is good, though. I never got to play as female MC, so that would be good. Hi, Durante. Oh, yeah, they're a good porting company, right? All right, so we won. Nice. So, yeah. Uh, I do apologize if the way I've been explaining it has been super messy. I was just focusing on the fight, and I didn't want to end up dead, you know? <laughs> oh, boy. We fought that army, and there's another army waiting for us. Oh, boy. You played Persona 3. Portable. Oh, on your PSP, nice. Oh, are you joking me? There's more enemies wanting to fight with me now? Great. Well, yeah. I'm glad I got to play through P3, though. And I did grow up with a PlayStation Portable, a PSP, actually, but for, I think the PSP was a big emulation machine that people played it purely for the emulation because it was so easy to emulate games on it. I remember growing up with a PSP and there were so many emulators and whatnot. You want to play Game Boy Advance games on your PSP? You can. And back then, you know, I felt like I was powerful. I felt like I can do anything with the PSP. It was amazing that time. Emulating was such a dream on it. I mean, also back then, Back then, localizing all sorts of games were wasn't even possible because you know, is it worth is it worth for the money and whatnot? But I'm glad nowadays we are getting more games. We are getting more games localized, which is good. 
I do like that's happening, though. I mean, after hearing all these fights about bringing Xenoblade over here and people still fighting for Mother 3 to be localized, I still can't believe that fight is still going on nowadays. That people are still hoping that we still get Mother 3 translated. I mean, I'm glad I got to play games like Mother 3 and all that. It's just amazing. Mother 3 is such an amazing game, and if Nintendo ever decides to bring it over, that would be great. But yeah, fan, like, we wouldn't be playing these amazing games without the fan translators. It's because of fan translations that we're able to play all sorts of amazing games today. But you know, People still want the official localization. And I understand. They they want the official localization. Completely understandable. I see no issue with that at all. How do you like that? <laughs> Was that a too much? Flip, I gotta crack my beer. Oh nice. Getting through these enemies like they're bacon. Easy, easy, tasty bacon. Are you feeling okay? Oh, Live a lot, live a live, love live, live a leave a leave. Whatever the pronunciation of that game is. It's crazy that we're getting a game like that over here now. The game does sound amazing, but I won't be playing it anytime soon, even though that is a game I do want to play. But it's like I don't want to buy every single game, also because I'm on a tight budget right now. But that game does seem cool to play. But also, it leaves the choice of whether I play it personally or I stream it. Because I can't stream every single game I have. But the game does look cool, though. I love how they're bringing games to the HD 2D engine thing. Like, I love the new HD 2D engine where they bring these 2D games and make them look HD. Like, the way they're remade in the lighting and how everything looks is amazing. One game I'm looking forward to is the Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D remake. Like that game looks amazing from what I've seen so far. And also Dragon Quest 12. I'm looking forward to those games. And I'll definitely stream those because I did stream Dragon Quest 11 a long time ago and 11 was so much fun. I had a good time playing 11. Sundown, I feel like the internet will go crazy if Chrono Trigger did end up getting remade that way. People will probably go insane at that point. But I feel like that would be a win for the JRPG community if Chrono Trigger did end up getting remade that way. But I yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure it's a matter of time. It will happen. We just gotta find out when it's happening. But there are so many games that deserve an HD 2D remake. Can you imagine the old Pokemon games being remade that way? Like, I would love to see Pokemon Gold, Silver, Crystal remade in HD 2D. I feel like that would be amazing to look at. Just see that 2D game made in that kind of engine with like all the, like I, this re just even thinking about it sounds amazing. I would love if that were ha that would happen. Front Mission 1 and 2 getting remade. Front Mission 2 never got a Western release. It's crazy how many games that were never released are getting remade nowadays. Like I I like the I like how games are going. I love how games are going about it now that games are getting better attention because people people will purely buy these now. But back then, they barely gave these games a chance. But nowadays, games are getting better chances than normal, which is good. We're getting to the point where we get worldwide re worldwide releases, and that's great. Can you imagine just getting worldwide releases of certain games now? It's crazy how how much attention games are getting nowadays. Oh, sorry. Hold on. I was dying for a second. I didn't want to die. I got to make sure I don't die. That'd be great. Oh, goodness. 
I mean, I love to continue about the about the freaking uh, the the timeline of all these games and whatnot. It's just crazy how far games have come where barely any game gets localized to nowadays every game is getting their shot. Every game is getting a second shot for the future of the series. That would be oh, that sounds awesome. Oh boy, is this the first seal? We got the first seal down. Beautiful. Now let's do the same for the other side. Run Mission 3 was the first one in the series that got a Western release, then 4 and 5 never did. Yeesh. That sounds painful indeed, but not as painful as my... Oh, I survived. Nice. Good thing I didn't jump to my death, but I almost did. I almost did. I never got to play Front Mission. There's a lot of games I've never got the chance of playing, but who knows? Maybe in the future, I'll just be giving a lot of games their shot. There's a lot of games I do want to try and play and all that stuff, but man, there are so many I have yet to play. And there's all these games coming out. Then there's the Nintendo Direct rumored to come out in 11 days. In 11 days, we're rumored to get a Nintendo Direct, which is crazy because there's going to be more games announced. And now I'm playing through Xenoblade. I'm playing through Danganronpa. Do you see what I'm trying to say? I'm playing through all these big series. And the list just grows every single freaking time. The list just grows and grows and grows. It's insane. I don't know how anybody else can deal with this. I wonder if anybody has put a dent into their backlog. But by the time they finish one game, another one comes out. That's how crazy this is. You feel like you're going through your backlog, but no, you're not. There's always another game coming out. Like, I feel like the only way you can dent your list is that you focus on playing video games every day for more for hours a day. But I don't play games every day. I wish I could, but I don't want to get burned out on video games. I mean, I could try, but... I'm always busy doing other stuff as well. But man, I just can't imagine putting a dent into my list. Basically, I have to figure out which games I do want to play and which games I'm not going to play, but it's hard to. It's really hard to. I just want to know. So, chat, how many games did you play this year? I'm really curious. How many games did you play this year? And how many did you beat? Did you ever did you get to beat a good number this year? We're halfway through the year already. Has anyone beaten a good number of games this year? We have gone through so many. And I'm going through a long run right now. Hopefully I can get to Xenoblade 3 by next year because I hope I can beat two before this year is over. Assuming, you know, I gotta take my break and all. I don't want to get to two right away after finishing this so I don't get burned out. Give this up for about half a year and then forget it. Like a few other games I left behind. At this point, we're at the point where there are too many games coming out to play all of them. Although that's a good thing. But you say that, Sundown, but it gives people the dilemma of like, I'm bored. I have nothing to play. Then they look at their wall of games and there's endless games to play and it's not just on your switch your playstation it's also the steam account where every year we get so many steam sales for games that you can get for cheap and your library just grows bigger and bigger with games that you promise that you play but you never do because there's always a bigger sale there's always more games coming out we just have a problem we have a problem. It's a big problemo. And I'm a part of it. I want to play all these games. But every time I do, there's always a different game coming out. It's insane. <laughs> but also, like you said, it's not really a bad thing. It's not really a bad thing. I'm, I'm fine with living, with living like this. It just means that no matter what, I'm always going to have a game to play. 
but at the same time i gotta go through games at my own pace i don't want to feel like i'm forcing myself to play these games right oh yeah the epic game store you're right i've gotten so many free games from them it's insane they even give away the the bioshock collection can you believe that that's three bioshock games right there like at some point i might play through that as well i've heard bioshock is amazing i think i used to play that in the past like on the xbox 360 but i don't think i beat it though like i know i played a number of games and i'm pretty sure i didn't beat every single one but getting these games for free is insane i remember when they gave away grand theft auto 5 grand theft auto 5 for free i remember that it was extremely difficult to get that game when it first came out for free on the epic game store because everybody was downloading that i think that's how they started their free giveaways right i think that's how they started with grand theft auto 5 right off the bat like i'm pretty sure if i look at my epic game store library i probably have over a thousand dollars worth of games for free which is insane but i'm just collecting them am i gonna play them i have no idea i just i don't know am i am i just suffering by collecting games and not playing them do, do i just enjoy collecting games instead of playing them and then the, there's the thing of collect of getting games digitally versus physically like i think the last few games i've gotten were just digital i can't imagine myself getting games physically anymore even though there are some games i do want to play physically which does sound great but i think the last few games i've gotten have been all physical although digitally it's tough to get most games nowadays because they take so much space on your hard drive they take so much space like even for my ps5 i only have a terabyte and that's not enough for anything like i can put a couple of games on it but then there's updates and then the newer games take so much space it's insane one terabyte is not enough for these consoles anymore and i don't know what nintendo is doing but they 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 put out good looking games and they don't take that much space but it makes sense because these games are in 4k but they do some pretty they do a pretty good job why do i hear boss music not the cumulus oh boy but it's like at this point you're gonna need a bigger hard drive you're gonna need a, you're gonna need a gigantic hard drive that's the insane thing about it oh it resisted just heal buddy heal but it makes sense though because it's not tough it's really not tough just getting gain like getting hard drives that are huge hard drives aren't really that expensive nowadays i remember a long time ago when hard drives used to be super expensive but they're not anymore like you can get an eight terabyte hard drive for like a hundred dollars nowadays versus back then where a terabyte would be like hundreds of dollars just for one terabyte i know i'm sorry I'm, I'm i'm being old and whatnot but it's true though it is really true games like everything used to be way more expensive back then especially especially tech like this that's the insane thing about it now things are cheaper and you can get more terabytes for less money like at least you don't have to pay eight terabytes for like for like how much like hundreds and hundreds of dollars i don't know the more i talk about it the more old i feel the more old i feel i feel about it every time oh dang this guy's giving us big problems Come on, Melia, do some big damage. And do a big heal, please. Oh, nice. That's beautiful. Ricky needs to keep up the heals, please. Oh, we gotta get that party. Oh, Melia! Hold on, Melia, I gotcha. Holy heck, don't dumb me, Melia, please. 
Oh, this is getting. Oh wait, that's an enemy right there. That's a little. Wait, is that an enemy? No, that's Ricky. Ricky's dying. Oops. Weaker ads are usually better to get rid of first. Weaker ads. Wait, what do you mean weaker ads? I don't see any advertisements here. Where are these advertisements coming from? We got so many dang enemies. Oh wait. Oh, I didn't want to fight. I didn't want to. I didn't want to leave. Oh, additional enemies. That's what you. Oh, but my friends are dead. Okay. Okay, I get it. I have made a terrible mistake. I mean, I, I got your son down. I have not heard ads like additional enemies. I have not heard that before. That's different to me. I made a terrible mistake. Leave me alone, guys. Oh, this is not good. There's so many enemies here. Oh, dang it. They got aggroed. I'm out of here. <laughs> this isn't going well. Good thing. Oh, my goodness. That is... That is horrifying to see. What the heck? Just in the battle already. Get them over here. Holy cripes. That was bad. I could have died. But of course, there's no consequence for dying, though. That's the thing. Even though there were so many enemies, but it's just that that little guy just called everyone over. I was trying to stop the little guy from calling all the enemies. I think he's dead now. So I don't think we got to worry about that anymore. It's just that, yeah, that the one was calling out everybody. And that was the end of everything. Joke actually reacts. Bait. Oh boy, guess who's back? It's the Cumulus again. Dang it. I can't believe the Cumulus is back. Okay, good. We got that one down. So now we can just focus on you, buddy. Holy flip. I just saw a shadow and I knew that was it, though. Maybe I should, maybe I should switch up my party members then. But I think I can win with these guys. I can. I believe in these guys. They're great. Oh, nice. Let's do it. First, I'm gonna heal myself. Let's focus on the blue chain for a bit. I do love the... I do love the ones that don't have any color. Colorless colors. Colorless chain. We can work with that. Like, if it doesn't have a color, it counts for the chain. And then we can switch with something else. It's like a Uno wild card, basically. I like that. I love the Uno wild card color. I'm just attacking the right spots. Nice. Hold on, Shadow Eye. I mean, at least if I'm losing or winning or whatever, at least the music's good, by the way. I cannot wait to hear the music from the other games. It's gonna be great. I hope the music is so hype when I get there to, to two and three. Oh yeah, but I did hear about the mess about Xenoblade 3's special edition, that people try to get the Xenoblade special edition, and it was very difficult to do so. I cannot believe Nintendo still hasn't realized that people want these special editions, and every time they try to bring it on, on their site, it just breaks every single time because their site isn't that good. Like, I haven't tried, I'm, I'm not going for three yet, so, because it's still too early to get the game, but I've heard how messy the special, I've heard how messy getting the special edition is. Like, it's super messy. Come on, Nintendo, you gotta learn. Stop staying in the past. We're in the year 2022. Get better at this, Nintendo, please. I love you, Nintendo, but there's still so much you gotta learn, my dude, please. They still got so much to learn. Latisse leggings? I love Latisse leggings. What is Latisse? Ooh. 
people are finishing up their skill links pretty nicely. Let's see. Who's learned a new art? Melia learned a new art. Summon wind. Hmm. Let's see. She's got copy aqua flare bolt. Hmm. Eh, don't think sleep will help much. I'll do that. Oh, wow. That's a lot of current AP. So let's get that wind up there. Healing gift. Oh, you sacrifice your own HP. Yeah, don't want that, though. Way too dangerous right there, my lady. Let's see. Ricky's got a lot to upgrade. I need to find Ricky books. Where the flip of the Ricky books? If I can find the Ricky books, that'd be great. Let's see. Last stand. Magnum charge. But we need a book for that. Hmm. I need to make sure she gets her healing up. That would help out a lot. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go check out stores for their books. That's what I need to do. All right, I think so far so good. Increased chance of fever when gem crafting. Oh, that can help out a lot. Fantastic. All right, nice. Let's move on. Oh yeah, we got this guy over here who tried to beat us up last time and almost did but you failed you failed my friend now get that aggro down i love it that my aggro goes down so much upgrading shadow eye is such a good idea oh dang i've been toppled help me my friend i've been toppled one thing i don't like doing is being toppled please do not topple me I am one who does not get toppled easily, but if you try toppling me, it might be easier than you think. Ooh, bitey bitey. Oh, come on. We have to chain up. That should work. Oh, flip. Not the wall discharge. The worst kind of discharge. The wild one. Ah, oh, nice. We got your large hoof. Oh, wait. Is that an item we need? The Doomsday Poppy. Nice. Okay. You're not the one that calls by sound, but you do notice us. Okay. That's fine. We'll get. We'll just get some of your friends over. Not everybody there, but these guys. There we go. We'll focus on these guys over here before we fight the big guy. Gotta play things smart, you know? I love that giant hyper beam she's got going on. Man, I wish I could be as flashy whenever I get to attack. If I were an RPG man, dang, would I have flashy attacks. So yeah, the thing is, whenever... I've always been thinking like if I were an R if I were in if I were in an RPG, I've always thought that I'd be a warrior class, like the one with the sword and shield and everything. I thought that class would fit me. But then I look at myself and see like my favorite animal is a sloth, and you know, the more I realize, oh wait, maybe I'm not a warrior class. Maybe I'm fit to be a different kind of class. Maybe I could become a jester. I'm the gesture class. I'm just a joke to everybody. But no, I've always been wondering that if I were in an RPG, I wonder what kind of class I would be in. So yeah, chat, if you were in an RPG, what, what would be your class, though? What would be your class? Like, I always thought that'd be an interesting thing. That do you see yourself as a warrior? Do you see yourself as a mage? A thief? Something like that. Do you see yourself as support? A main? A tank? I've always been thinking about that. Because, you know, in the case I ever do play D&D, &D, I always got to figure out what kind of class I would be. Mage, thief, warrior, bard. There's all sorts of classes. Ooh, nice. Getting that big muns right there. To buy books. 
All right, we got the Orluga slacks. They want those pants. For some reason, they want they want monster pants. I don't see nothing wrong with that. I mean, fashion is fashion. And you gotta kill for fashion sometimes. Not that I know of, but... I mean... Who wouldn't kill for fashion, am I right? Who wouldn't kill for fashion? Oh, boy. It's another one of these. Great, sure. He's got a little carry on him. That's freaking cute. If it wasn't killing us, dang, I would like you more. But you're trying to kill us, so... <laughs> oh, you got little buddies. Gotta take care of your little friends first. Here we go. I love it when I hit everybody like that. It's so good. Elemental Discharge. Ooh, nice. That exploded. Yoinky. Gotta steal everything. A Yoinkus. A Moingus. Now, I wonder, when will Pixel ever play Among Us ever again? But yeah, Chad, like, I know I keep I know I keep making fun of the word Among and Us every time it shows up in the game or whatever, but I don't know. Not, I don't ever see myself playing Among Us ever again. Maybe I do, but not anytime soon. When did you get... Oh, what the heck? When did these... Why are these enemies coming up here now? Is everybody coming up here now? Everybody wants to play? Everybody wants to play? Dude, what the flip, you two? I mean, if you want to give us your pants, that's fine. Give me, give us your pants. I want your slacks right now. They came up here, so we must steal their pants. <laughs> That sounds so out of context when you hear it a different way. Give me your pants. I want your pants. I want to go to Japan. Give me your pants to go to Japan and that's what I want to do. Here we go. Nice. That was both of them at the same time. It's so beautiful and when it works out that way. Nice, we got your pants. Oh, dang, we still need one more for the pants. Nice. All right, we got both seals unlocked after all this time. By the way, I hope everybody in chat is doing okay so far. Hope everybody's chilling out so far. We're just about to go to Prison Island. Nice. It's over there. It's way over there. Hmm. There we go. I found a shortcut. Oh, wait. Too much of a shortcut. Okay, I'm fine. Poor Melia, though. She's, she fell into her face. Okay, good. Nice. I'm getting stronger. I'm getting stronger to not die so quickly. Hooray. I'm so happy. We're not dying as quickly. We are getting stronger, I tell you. Stronger, I say. Strong. We're getting stronger. So strong. No, we're so strong. Blow up. It does so much damage. I love it. Many monsters. Spoiled the broth every single time. Did you know what they say? Too many monsters spoil the broth. And also to stop eating all those monsters. Another side quest complete. That's 22,000 gold in my pocketo. Love it, love it, love it. 
you know, we just destroy these little guys because it's easy that way. But yeah, I've always been wondering that, you know, after playing Xenoblade, I will take a break from the game to play something else. So I'm always figuring out, figuring out what to play next. And I know people give me recommendations sometimes. And if anybody ever does have recommendations, there is a Discord channel for that. If you ever want to leave your recommendations in there, in case I do need to find out what I need to play and I just look in there. Because whenever people just recommend it in chat, Unless I'm writing every single thing down, I tend to forget sometimes, so. Literally, all recommendations for future games, there is a channel for Discord on that. Suggestions and feedback. The best channel to go whenever you want to leave your thoughts and suggestions and feedback. Although I do want to see that channel used more, I feel like people do have feedback, but they never say anything. And I know that I'm not a perfect channel, that's for sure. I know there's a lot I can improve on every single time. But what can I do? I'm only one sloth to run a whole channel. That's all I can do. But I run in my own way. And I know I'm great. But at the same time, I know I can do better. At least that's what I think. At least that's what I think. Alright, let's unlock this thing and go to Prison Island. Or just prison. I'm fine with either one. Whether I go to prison or the whole island, I'm fine with that. Exos by Night, now found in prison. Because he said he wants to go there. Decided to go to prison, not Prison Island. Both completely different places. Pixel thought they were the same place. LOL, said the guard. LOL. And... The portal has been opened. Beautiful. Now we can go to prison. I love it. Uh. Mechon. And something we've never seen before. Big fish coming! Oh boy. <gasps> I'm getting hungry. The sky ray. I like that. But yep, Ricky, Ricky was not wrong. That is a big fish right there. Not every day you see a big fish in the sky. But yeah, we gotta take this big fish down. The murmur of darkness. Does it speak sweet nothings in my ear? I don't want that. I don't want a giant fish to come up to my ear and speak. Like just, this speaks to me the whole, it speaks to me in Japan. It just, it just recites the whole Bible in Japanese to me. That's the murmur of darkness. And yep, I find that impressive. I can't believe a fish is reciting the Bible in Japanese to me. That's already impressive enough. Thank you, giant fish. I really appreciate it. <laughs> that would be creepy, though. It reminds... The reason I said the bubble in Japanese is because there's a Sonic channel that does, like, these fan dubs and whatnot. And the video is, you know, say yes if you love me. Recite the Bible in Japanese if you say no. And Shadow the Hedgehog recites the Bible in Japanese. It's freaking hilarious. Like, I find those videos hilarious. Here we go. Take that, Sky Ray. Like, how the heck do you recite the Bible in Japanese with such clarity, though? But that is a murmur of darkness. I'd be freaked out that it's speaking to me in Japanese. Oh, flip, we've been dazed. Don't kill this giant fish, please. I don't want the fish killing me. <laughs> Not in Japanese. Get this giant fish out of here before I start eating it. But if I ate something like this, would I be evil? Can anyone explain what this thing is? I believe it is one of the oldest creatures on Bionis. 
I have only seen them as fossils, discovered around the capital. To find that they were trapped on Prison Island. Was it protecting the island? That would imply it's sentient. I believe it's responding to something primitive. Primitive? It doesn't care who or what we are. Its instinct was to defend against anything, but we'll never really know. We're losing time here. We still haven't reached the island. Ricky, go to island! <laughs> Ricky's like, Ricky ate big fish. If the fish is gone, Ricky ate the fish. Ricky ate the fish. He was a hungry boy. He ate the giant fish. I mean, free food though. And plus that creature was almost extinct, wasn't it? Or protected. Something like that. Defenses are sure to fall. Forefathers, grant me your wisdom. Iluna Meluruka Taxis. Taxis? My boy said taxes. What the heck? It, it can't be. Did he just summon a whole man? Oh, he's naked. Got a it. A giant. So this is what was sealed away. How long has it been? Behold, a man. This is our first encounter. A naked man, nonetheless. It is not you that I speak to, but your blood. The blood that shackled me. What, he got the Sephiroth here, though? I see. <laughs> then I assume I do not need to tell it's you. It's Sephiroth himself. The reason I am here. There is no need. I Nintendo has teased Sephiroth for Smash this long ago. Use it. That is the reason I am here, after all. If I open up something and a giant naked man with Sephiroth hair comes out, I'd be I'd be surprised too. It's just really surprising how he's like, what is this a giant? Yep, you summoned a man, congratulations. But yeah, that guy was pretty much naked, wasn't he? Hopefully I don't get in trouble with anything with that. Like, he showed nudity in a video game. It wasn't me. Blame the creators! They they showed a giant naked man with Sephiroth hair here. I can't believe Nintendo teased that Sephiroth was going to be in Smash ever since Xenoblade 1. He had that hair though. That was Sephiroth if he were actually thousands and thousands of years old. I never played Final Fantasy 7 so I don't know how old he actually is but he do got that Sephiroth hair though. And he was giant, purple, and naked. Pretty weird. Whoa! 
Big door. Big door. Whatever needed this door was massive. <gasps> Dino beast. That is a big door, though. Hmm. We we all love big door. It's just a statue. Don't freak us out like that, Ricky. Is this a person? I can't make it out. This may very well be the appearance of my forefathers. The legends tell that they differed greatly to how we look now. And this is what they look like. Wait a minute. I've seen this thing somewhere before. Oh, Dino Beast, Dino Beast. You might be right. It reminds me of the Telethia as well. Did your ancestors build this island? Big door, no. big statue. The stories tell of this place existing long before my people. No one knows for sure, but we think our forefathers are the ones who sealed it. I wonder what's hidden inside. Well, we'll know soon enough, I suppose. There, an engraving by the forefathers. I've seen this engraving around the capital. Many researchers have tried and failed to discover its meaning. Hey, Shulk. That symbol. Yeah. It's similar to the Monado symbols. There must be a connection. Connection? The sealed door of Prison Island. It is said only a true successor to the throne can open it. Then the Emperor must be inside. I believe so. Forefathers. I, your descendant, Melia Antiqua, stand before you. For the sake of our world, release the seal! Just like at the tomb. What's it doing? Aren't we going to help? Please, do not worry. It is necessary. Big door. Oh, vision. Heir to the Monado. Let the shackles be released. What is it, Shulk? Get a move on. You saw it, right? Us bashing that Tim man's head in. Hold on a second. Oh, here we go. I knew you'd start overthinking. There's not much time, Shulk. We've got to go now. Sharla's right. We'll miss our chance to take that murdering mech on down. And save Melia's father, too. I... Okay. But well, will we do any of that? Oh, yes. That, that's what I love to see. The inscriptions. Can anyone read that? Because I can't. Wait, what the heck is that? A shadow? Or a portal? Imagine we get there, it's Dark Shulk. Welcome to Prison Island. I mean, Nintendo loves its dark characters. Dark Samus, Dark Pit, Dark Shulk, Dolk is what I call him. But yeah, this, yeah, this doesn't, this looks very sinister. Oh. Oh, it's a teleporter. What the flip? Did we... Where the... Wait, 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 what? Yeah, that's... Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't you trust a dark portal in the middle of nowhere, am I right? Let me just check this place out at least, but... What the heck? You just look at it and you think, oh, it's evil. Perfect. It's perfect for us to step in. Let's do it. But you, but you feel it. You feel the portal grabbing at you. You feel the portal teleporting every single thing of you away. I suppose this is broken, so we gotta go through the evil portal, don't we? This is another portal, right? Yep. So we gotta go through the evil portal, of course. You gotta love stuff like that, am I right? Sorry, good portal down. 
Bad portal still open. Have fun with bad portal. By the way, speaking of portal though, so you know GLaDOS's voice, right? Apparently somebody made a mod where they changed GLaDOS voice to the TikTok female announcer voice. I don't know if you've seen TikToks, but you know the female voice that hap that does the text to speech thing. They replaced all her voice lines with the TikTok female voice and I've seen a clip of it and it's really really weird. Hold on, let me try to find it though. If I if I can find it, let me let me just find it though cuz it is really cursed. Let me see. Come on, I almost I got to search my friend's account cuz I think my friend has. Yeah, I think my friend has it. Okay. Do I know my friend? Oh, here it is. Perfect. I know my friend's account. Fantastic. My nose is itchy because of my freaking, freaking mustache. I know he liked it. I think he liked it. Where is it? Dang, he likes a lot of things. Where is it? Oh, wow. There's so many things. I know it's like not. Oh, found it. I found it. All right. All right, let's do it. So here we go. So check this out. Let me mute this so you can hear it more clearly. Yeah, that that's the voice right there. Hello and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. It's so wrong. It's so weird. Like why did why would somebody do that? It's so weird to hear all those lines, but not with the voice you expected to hear. It it is so weird. Ooh, more show gauntlets. Nice. So that means I can give myself better stuff. Let me get that HP up, though. Oh, I got League of Leggings, but not... Okay, League of Leggings are better. I'm fine with League of Leggings. Oh. Ah, uh, thanks for the reminder on the game audio. That'd be kind of weird if I just played and nothing happened. <laughs> Ooh, I look great, though. Although, if I had the shell light... Oh, man, look at me go. You know, just for this case, I'll just put on the shell, though. The shell does look pretty good on me. Where's the shell? Do I need to put them on to actually make them work? So now that I put them on, can I wear shell? Or they're actually a type. Oh, that's a weird... Pants look right there. It grew colony, colony, middle, middle. Oh, there we go. Now look at that. I got that. I got that blue drip going on. Now that's drip. Now I'm just dripping. Beautiful. Let's see. Melia, go with the glass rod. Go with that crest top. We need to give you better stuff, that's for sure. Let's see, Ricky, you got that queen frog going on. You got that big frog on your head. Let's see, League of Legends. What if one day I just started playing League of Legends? Would that be a problem, chat? Would that be a problem at all if I just started playing League of Legends? Wouldn't that be crazy? If one day I'm just like, by the way, I'm playing League of Legends, and everybody will enjoy my playthrough of League of Legends. And I'm pretty sure I'd, I'm going to lose a lot of people. I think that's what might happen. I might start losing a lot of people. 
Like, who the heck wants to watch me play League of Legantes? Don't think anybody wants to see that happen. Oh, dang. Let's go, Dunban, getting that good armor right there. Look at... Look at that gauntlet right there. Look at that. You see that gigantic gauntlet on his right arm? I'm going to lose subscriber. I'm pretty sure I might lose subscriber. That is definitely what's going to happen. I'm going to lose subscriber. I don't want to lose subscriber. But I might end up losing subscriber. But that's one thing I don't want to do. I don't want to lose subscriber. Why do I got to lose subscriber? Why can I do cool things without losing subscriber? But I don't want to lose subscriber. That's one thing I don't want, okay? Well, look at this, though. Look at him go. Oh, how do I take this off? Ah, dang it. I'm still... Ah, how do I take this off? Remove selected item. Oh, there we go. Nice. He's looking... Noise, I'm telling you. He's looking noise. By the way, how's everybody in chat doing so far? We're about to hit up two hours. And I am excited. I am super excited right now. Whoa, dark can't. Wow. That is bigger gun. That they got dark cannon way bigger. Woo. Big Gun indeed. That's big gun. I love a lady with a big gun. She looks great with a big gun. Recovery up when being healed up. Uh, sure, why not? If she's going to be helping with the healing, I think she's going to need every little bit she can get. Air gauntlets, mithril leggings. We got the League of Leggings. Not the League of Legends ones, but close enough. All right, I think she's good then. Oh yeah, Firebrand, I saw I saw your post about the Guardians of the Galaxy. For, unfortunately, I cannot play that game on stream unless I play streamer mode on, meaning that all the mu all the music that can get me DMCA'd gets turned off. And I've heard that the game is actually better with the music on. So that's the reason why I decided not to play it, because it means I have to turn off all the good music that the game has. I mean, imagine that, though. Imagine losing the opportunity to play good music because I can get DMCA'd. I don't want to get DMCA'd, but at the same time, I don't want to play. I don't want to play the game without good music like that. You know what I mean? You understand? Let's see. Increases tension. Let's get that tension up. The physical defense up. In restores HP to an encouraged ally. I mean, Psychboy also has DMCA music, but not as much as Guardians of the Galaxy. I've heard Gar in Guardians, it plays a lot. It plays a lot. That's the insane thing about it. There we go. So it's like, I would love to, but I can't. I just really can't. Reduce, reduces cooldown during the day. That would help her out a lot. Let's see. More quests. Increases chain attack damage. I like that. Defense up. And... Yeah, I'll stick with that for now. Let me just focus on these skill links again, so... We get a better set. Increases agility. I like that. Reduces weight of equipment. Actually, I don't think that matters. So increase the tension. More HP is for boost physical and ether defense. That is great. Restores HP to encouraged ally. Although I know I should probably go back to playing freaking... Sack boy at some point, but also the music also bothers me. It's like, why do these good games have to use DMCA music? They can make their own music, right? They can easily just make their own video game music that you don't have to use 
music to get you DMCA'd. We're not in the time where we can just play any game with music like that and be fine. No, like, you can literally get in trouble just for playing these kind of games. And I don't want that to happen. I don't want to get my channel destroyed just because I decided to play this game that plays We're up all night to get lucky. Woo! All night to get lucky. Woo! Like, come on. It just really stinks, though. Like, I really dislike it that that happens. Like, there's all these good games, yet... Oh, you can't because it has music that you can get banned for. I don't want to get banned from you. I don't want to get banned. That's one thing I don't want. Hmm, so get that on. But yeah, hopefully that makes sense right there. So I just can't play every single game, which I would like to, but I just don't want to, I don't want to turn off the music and then the game is just no music. Because in Guardians of the Galaxy, they don't replace the music if you turn it off. If you turn off the DMCA music, there's no replacement. Silence. They just really, they just really want to, they just really want money for all this. Like, oh, you play DMC music, uh, give us your money. Give me, give me your money. Like, I don't get it. I really don't get it. Like, I understand that, you know, money is important, but at the same time, it just ruins a lot. It ruins a lot of things. Hopefully what I'm saying does make sense, though. All right, let's continue on, though. Hold on, what's down here, though? Oh, wait, of course, my... Oh, level 41? Holy flip. Okay, I think we've walked onto the wrong territory. I think we did. We did. We did. Dang, no matter what, I always feel like... At certain parts, I always feel like I'm overleveled, but then I come here and find out I'm not. I'm just at the right level, basically. At least I'm not, like, doing every other side quest, because imagine me doing every flipping side quest in this game. I wouldn't be here right now. I'd probably be somewhere else right now, like a long time ago. But yeah, I just don't get it. I remember like how fun it was playing all sorts of music while playing Beat Saber, if anybody remembers my Beat Saber streams. Like it was fun playing Beat Saber and all that because there was no worry. Now there is worry. You still be at the start of the game and Matt. I'm pretty sure I'd still be around some like early on in the game. It's a good thing I've been told not to worry about the side quests because the side quests are just extra things. I understand why this game can take so long, but I'm not a completionist. Not for every game. If it's possible, I'll do it, but if it's insanely long, I cannot. Like, for example, I can try 100% Kirby. That's possible. Oh, it's not that. What's this one over here? I was about to attack the wrong creature. But at the same time, I never thought that people would be interested in me playing Xenoblade. I don't know if it's because it's me, but it's, a, it's always a mystery. The biggest mystery of Pixels by Night. Why do people like watching Sloth play video game? Do people like seeing Sloth go... Oh! Did I just get pushed off? I got pushed off to my death. Wow. I got blasted off the friggin' bridge. Well, and there's no there's no penalty for dying, though. The, the only penalty is that you start back at the beginning, but we're not even that far away. But yeah, I used to play Beat Saber a long time ago. I did a couple of streams. I don't think they're up on Twitch because if so, I'd probably be in trouble. But usually, the music that the music that I usually play aren't really like popular songs. They're more like anime tracks and whatnot, anime songs, stuff like that. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I could play Beat Saber. I just got to be really careful what music I play. But at the same time, I really don't want to risk it because, you know, anything can get you in trouble. Like, for example, on YouTube, if you play one second of a Pokemon track, that's enough to get you in trouble. 
like for example the one of the you love you lose challenges i played a po i played a pokemon clip i uploaded the video on youtube and immediately it was blocked because of that pokemon clip so i couldn't include that in the video so it's like it's crazy like how much dmc8 is ruling the internet right now like it's so scary that you can easily get in trouble for having a little bit of something that's not right just because they want the money because money is more important than anything climb armor and climb boots hmm. i like that oh boy time to fight again i don't know i'm just tired of the whole fight with this like it's just tiring that you got to be really careful about what you can play like what's right to play and what's not right to play like you got to be super careful and any mistake can get you easily banned off the internet like i want to make sure that i get through this whole thing without getting copyright claims or like copyright strikes claims are fine strikes are a whole different story I just don't want to get in trouble and get strikes because strikes are very difficult to remove. Just because I played a second of a popular thing, that's bad. It's over. Let us but so far, everything has been all right. But I wonder if it's going to be any different if I ever become like a big streamer or YouTuber. I wonder if that will ever be the case. Like, if I get bigger, will it be more difficult because there's more people noticing my stuff? Whereas I'm a small time YouTuber and streamer, so not many people know my stuff to get me in trouble with. But it makes sense for the bigger streamers because, you know, they got contracts and whatnot. And for these contracts, you can't make any mistakes, but eh, I don't know. It's like, yeah, getting bigger is good, but then you got to worry about like sponsorships and contracts and many people chatting at once do i really want that kind of thing i mean it could be fun though it could be fun into the dark portal we go ah yep yep i always feel tired coming out of a dark portal thank you shulk for realizing what i like thank you shulk we must be outside the tower are we here? <clears throat> this is it. This is the place I saw. Sephiroth? Father? Who is this? It's the giant purple man. Welcome. Hell. True heir to the Monado. Huh? Who are you? Check that guy out. Is this... He's one of the giants, said to have become extinct eons ago. This is what our forefathers locked away. I am Zanza, and I have waited centuries for you. You waited for him? But I thought our forefathers imprisoned you here. I forged the Monado. It is molded from me. All the oh. sword are made known to me. You made the Monado? Yes. I made it millennia ago to oppose Mekonis. But why are you imprisoned? The Monado controls the principle upon which life is based, the source of your existence, Ether. Master the principle of life, and all things will bow to you. Your power. Would be infinite. As you now know, 
The sword gives the wielder the power of foresight. And I myself once used that sword against the Mekonis and defeated it. This giant man did all that. The Mekonis with that tiny thing. Its appearance is merely an illusion. Its form morphs to conform to the will of its master. Oh. The power comes from within. Ah. <sighs> But Imagine the Monado becoming bigger that just because it can. Entia imprisoned me here long ago. That can't be true. Our forefathers would have had better reason. You are what you are. Do you not believe your own eyes? Open your mind, new ruler of the High Entia. The Monado is the blade of the Bionis. The only force that can oppose the Maconis. As the wielder grows, so too does his ability to control all things. Yet there is still power trapped in the sword. The Monado is in shackles. Shackles? I see no shackles. It is suppressed. You mean... Oh, there's the shackles. Oh man, I still miss her. I miss her so much. Yes, it was this constraint that gave rise to faced Mekon. Mekon which cannot be destroyed by the Monado. No, he's noticing the big naked man. So he's come out to play. That's cheating. Can't have that. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Try and stop us, my new toy. Catch oh. this, Sansa. That's not good. Right? These shackles, they must be the reason the Monado can't hurt people as well. Does that have something to do with the faced Mekon? You must find that out by yourself. I will remove those shackles for you, but you must take the Monado and free me from this prison. Free me and the Monado will cut down anything you wish. Ooh. Nothing but a god can stand in your way. Oh, then I can cut. Don't Ooh. do it, Shulk. But Melia, why? Something's not right. The forefathers must have had good reason to seal him. I need that power. I thought you of all people would understand. I do, but it's just. Hold on a minute. He only said he'd release this new power. Sounds like a good idea to me. But. Melia, please understand. Do we help the naked man or not? The Mekon must pay. Oh, dang, I forgot how. Yeah, I almost forgot how brutal everything was, especially this. Young Shulk, I will not force you. I ask for nothing in return. It is your choice. I will. Ah! 
to the Monado. Your will shall be done. Let the shackles be released! This party's over! Uh -oh. Oh. Oh. No! Oh. oh my goodness! Ah. It's him! Metal face! Sorry we're late to the party! What do you think of our leader's gift? How did you know we'd be here? What's that? The poor insects are a little confused. We're here for the old fool. <laughs> if he's dead... This is no time for that fire, Brandon. Come on. You were here just an added bonus. Bad timing, bad timing. <laughs> Silver-faced Mekon. Zanza. Respond, Zanza. I know you can hear me. I sense thought waves. Zanza, how many more will you sacrifice? Who are you to talk to me? How dare you? You know nothing. I am here to talk, Zanza. Ah! You will pay for what you've done! Please wait. I mean you no harm. Give us back the aura! Give her back! Ah! I told you to stay out of the way! Boy! Weak, weak and pathetic. Don't ban. Stupid bug. Melia! Look at you. Worthless without the Monado. Isn't that right, Dunban? What? Or who are you? How do you know me? Let's see if this jogs your memory! He moves like... But that's impossible! Don't bang! Cease immediately! They are not our target! Any final words? Who dares? Stop at once! Mechon! Emperor! Father! <sighs> Are you hurt, Melia? No. Father. You're gonna pay for that. You bag of bones! <gasps> He's had his wings clipped. Did you really expect to beat me? Emperor. I failed you. Heir to the Monado. Huh? Sansa, you're alive. Give me the power I need. I am now a mere shell. The power 
is already yours. What? The shackles have been broken. Wield the sword. It bends to your will. Think of your enemy, and the power to defeat them is yours. Zanza. Mekon. It's not over. The people of Bionis will never let you triumph. It's changing form! Be careful! We cannot withstand such power! Shoot! No way, this is getting crazy! The Monado can now inflict damage on Mechon with faces too. Oh, this is gonna be great. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. This is amazing. So many sacrifices, but oh my goodness. When the music comes in, it's so freaking good. And after all this time, we can finally damage the face of Mechon. Oh, this is so worth it. Now I can stop being bounced back all the time. Oh my goodness, this is super satisfying. It's just crazy how far we've come, but... At the sacrifice of Sansa and the Emperor... What the heck, so we couldn't... We couldn't stop another death, though. It's very sad. But can you please stop focusing on me, dude? Can you please stop focusing on me? Oh, dang, I've been dazed. There we go. Let's fill up this meter, though. Hey, don't focus on me, buddy. Don't focus on me, okay? Don't focus on the one with the Monado. Here we go. Well, he lasered us. And we waited for him to finish. At least we waited. I'm happy with that. Let's try to get this chain up. Buddy, buddy. Imagine making him bleed. It inflicts bleed, but yeah, it'd be hilarious if we can make the freaking Mekon bleed. Oh no, he's bleeding. That's bad. I know you couldn't help yourself saying there's a body. A body has been discovered. I get him, Monokuma. Oh. Outside the pre established harmony. Is that a haunt? No way. Fin what? Fiora. You're still alive. Zanza, you have not changed at all. That is clear. But still, I cannot... Do as you please. Fiora! Wait! My mission is complete. Returning to base. Yeah. <sighs> 
You were lucky this time, dumb man. But next time, I'll slice you in two. Fiora! It's me, Shulk! Fiora! What? 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 Joking me, she's been... We were too late. Again. I saw it. I knew it would happen. Shulk. Why? I'm just Why speechless right happen? now. <laughs> Father. Melia, the hope of our people. You must not cry. Don't say that. So the me so all the so all the me all the Mechon are piloted by humans Melia. then. Why does it you have think to the be Mechon me? is the guy that ran away you at the beginning, the one who just home. left the others? Is that what you think? It could be. You are very much mistaken. One of one of Dunban's crew. <laughs> but to become the hope of the High Entia is a fate that you choose for yourself. As long as you remember this. It is certain that you will be worthy of that name. But remember this. But seriously, now, what the heck? Why did the game the just throw that at me? That I love you. It She's is alive. I love you. But I wish for you to become that hope. <laughs> Heir to the Monado, I leave the sword in your hands. The sword that my forefathers sealed away. With it, you can succeed. Your Majesty. Uh, Melia, uh, cry for as long as you must. Uh, but when, when your tears are dry. Melia, come with me. Shulk, I... You'll have plenty of time to think about your empire and your people's hopes. If you need me, I will be at your side. But you are an individual. You are Melia Antiqua. And you can't let them get away with this. You're right. My foremost concern is making them pay. I'm just speechless. So, not so all the based Mechon are piloted. I. Well played indeed, Zanza. <laughs> I do what is necessary for the world. I could very easily have stood in for you. Your sentiment is appreciated. Mm. I see a storm on the horizon. There, there's just so much on my mind right now. Now that we know, that, like, they killed off Fiora, she's back. And now all the Mechon that can talk are piloted. So it's like, who's the one in the other robot? Who's Metal Face? And now we got to find a way to get Fiora back. But she doesn't remember us. And there's so much on my mind right now. But Fiora's okay. She's, she's okay. That's good. But man, this... This game is throwing me for a loop. This game and its freaking twist, though. So many twists. It's like twist after twist, loop after loop. It's just throwing me around. I'm being tossed around over here. And I think I kind of like it. 
But th this has been crazy. Either way, I'm going to end it here for tonight. I'm going to end it here for tonight. There, there, a lot has been going on, so I feel like this will be a good stopping point. I will be back tomorrow, probably with more Danganronpa or something else I'll figure out then. But thank you all for coming tonight. If you haven't followed, please do for more. And I will be back. Be sure to check out my YouTube as I upload almost every day. But have a good night, everybody. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.